My, 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 don't you have such a big appetite? But then again, we were up into the wee hours working out a few issues, I'm sure someone would say. <laughs> no, darling, you were a good boy. Yes, you were. <laughs> Oh, calm down. Us leopards aren't necessarily known for their purring, per se, but I've learned many different tricks being a monster girl. Not completely leopard, not completely girl. <laughs> you keep asking about that. I don't know. At my dinner tables, we never just had anything. We sat and talked. That's how you get to know each other. You're always looking down at your phone or you're always looking at some game. How are we supposed to get close with one another under those circumstances? Hmm? Well, that's not fair. I'm very interested in everything about you, darling. No. My job is to take care of you, to care about every whim, every idea, every thought, every everything about you. How dare you think that I wouldn't care about your games well no I mean when my family went around having dinner we would you know climb up in the trees with our antelope mm. sometimes we come to America and we grab some venison oh, love love rutting season all the deers are just crazy running in different directions not paying attention to what they're doing absolutely delicious anyway sorry oh oh i guess that's not you didn't travel the world trying all the different you know antelope deer water buffalo nothing water buffalo can be tricky I have to get well no not all of us would go just when we were cubs with our mom anywho sorry forget this forget i said anything about that so you know what here let's let's go over we're done with done with breakfast let's go get some let's go look at the game these games that you're into hmm oh well i mean leopard girls don't play well no i've mentioned games in the past with you but i'm not gonna lie game grumps pewdiepie kotaku you learn many different things and sound like you know what you're doing just by doing a little bit of research you know before well, no, I did my research on everyone who'd be bidding, at least the top bidders at that auction. And I wanted to know exactly what I was getting myself into. And you seemed really interesting. I was hoping you'd win me. Oh, no, the other ones I was prepared to absolutely cut them loose. Well, yes, I could cut on their neck. That was definitely one way I was going to get loose if I had to. But that would have been a worst case scenario. Anyways, back to you, back to you. <clears throat> So, what are we sitting down to look at today? Hmm? Oh, well, it looks like you have hundreds of games looking through this library. Jesus Christ. No, I've seen you play that one right there. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to knock your controller. <laughs> well, no, I've never had my paws on one of those. I guess hands. It really just depends. See, I got more of the human-looking hands, less the paws. Made me quite sad, really, growing up. My siblings, they all got the more of the paw-looking ones, but here it's, what do I do? Joy stick. Well, sometimes you play on your computer, don't you? You know, with the, your mouse, which I love the idea of playing with a mouse. Oh, no. And the, the buttons, no wonder you're very good at pushing and tapping and rubbing all over my okay so and then these are down here l1 l2 what are these oh those are arrow key well if you have the joystick why do you need the arrow okay no i guess that makes sense and what game is this okay all right so we both play with legos and build stuff here me and you and we also play it on the television. And they look like Legos. 
and they go back. What is the point of that? So these are like living Legos, like AI Legos. Okay, all right. So I need to shoot to that, which means I need to point at... Ow! He hurt me. Can I just go rip his hip? Oh, what is that called? Rage. I wouldn't say that's quite rage. I just think it's stupid that he hit me. Hulk. All right, so I just hit right there. Then I tap on the... Oh, he's... Okay, that works. Oh, this is good. This is fun. This... Oh, I see why you like this. What what character am I? I've watched these movies. This is Black Widow. Oh, I like her. She's amazing. Well, no, she's got that really sultry voice, and she likes to. Have you noticed there's a natural roll to her, like like a little tiny growl whenever she talks? It's absolutely adorable. Okay, so what happens next? Do we? Mm hmm. Then if I jump up there and I, uh, 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 oh, sorry, my. I'm getting too into it. Did you want to... I can hit the pause button. I don't know where... Oh, there it. Thank you. No, it wasn't an excuse to get you to come near me. If I wanted you to come near me, I would say, come here, my good boy. And see how obedient you are. Mm. Good boy. <laughs> oh, look, I've trained you well. You know very well how to please me. Now, do you want your controller back? Because, oh, I can see how this could get addicting. Other games? Well, yes, I've heard of Call of Duty. It's been a pretty big fixture in the world for a while, but zombies. There's zombies in Call of Duty. Oh, okay. So we're switching over to there now? Okay, and you're just first-person shooter. Oh, because it looks like I'm the one that's shooting. Oh, this is fun. I do so love a hunt. Now, why are we using... Is there a way we could just, like, pounce on them and rip their heads off? And No, no. Well, I just find it's more effective than... I guess guns could be more effective at long distance, if long distance is the goal. I don't know. I just... I like games where I go get up in the bungee. You know what? I've heard of these role-playing games, RPGs, and I've heard of things called tanking. Again, I read a lot of, from, from Kotaku. Listen, listen here. So I love being a tank, running in there and being bashed on and beating stuff down and knowing that it can't defeat you. Isn't that just, you're more of it damage per sec dps ranged uh, guess it takes all types or support what is support cleric healer healer well that would make it really good you know if you were my my healer and then i was the time we could start gaming together well, that could be nice, you know, going in and we could, oh, we could start getting some of your other friends who, you know, you guys are always saying you're having a hard time finding someone who really likes tanking. Well, yeah, I wasn't trying to pry, but I heard that you guys were having a hard time because no one wants to do it and no one enjoys doing it. So you guys don't do as many dungeons together. No, I'm not trying to just get into this because you want me to. It's something I don't mind doing because it would be with you and it would be good bonding. Plus then it gives me an excuse to get to know some more of your friends and see if they're a good influence on my sweet boy. Hmm? Well, I just want what's best for you. You know, you didn't go to that auction and decide to even participate in it if you weren't going to need someone that truly understands how lonely you've been. You told me that. You've been feeling so lonely for such a long time. Let me take care of you. Let me be the one to fill your time. Let me be the one who will make you feel important, not because you won me, not because you 
bought me, but because I genuinely want to. Do you know how sweet you are? How amazing you are? How incredibly generous you are? And what's more important, how badly you want to love someone. That's you. You want someone to pour yourself into every drop of you to give every moment of your time to. And I want to do the same for you. I want to be all-encompassing in your life, every aspect of your life, the one you have to sleep by, the one whose heart is in sync with yours, the one who you love to have dinner talks with, the one who games with you, who shops with you, who laughs while we both try to figure out how to run the lawnmower, the one who giggles whenever we go down to the beach and you forget to put on your sunscreen, (laughs) the one who runs his beautiful hands through my fur, the one who gives me gentle kisses in the forehead at night, The one who talks to me about my future. The one whose future I'm invested in. (laughs) The one who knows exactly how to tune my instrument, if you know what I mean. The one who knows how to clean my pipes. (laughs) The one that I absolutely look to. Whenever I need to put a smile on my face. And that is already you. So how about that? How about you let me in on another aspect of your life? Bring me around your friends. And I can tell you whether or not they're good for you. You were miserable before you met me, my darling. You were sad before you met me, my love. And now that's beginning to all turn around. Why? Because I know exactly what you need. I'm not going to let you mess it up by locking me away the way you the way you do with everyone. Everyone in your life is compartmentalized. There's no intermingling for a reason. You don't want to have to disentangle someone from your life if they are ever to go away. I want you to have a full, happy life with everything enmeshed together, working in unison and sync for your happiness. That is how I serve you, by forcing you to serve yourself. Mm. Now go ahead and do what mommy said. And go set up that, uh, well, let's go set up my character and get her up to level. Run along now. Hey guys, Zena Alexander here. Uh, <laughs> tonight, tonight, we're doing our murder mystery on the Discord server. The link is in the description below. There's a $100 giveaway for the VAs who are participating and the audience can help them to help determine who's the one that's going to end up getting it. So uh, if you guys want uh, to come root for your favorite VA, can't be me. <laughs> I am I am the host. Uh, or just, you know, a VA that's on stage. Or if you just want to root me along because we have to avenge my death, um, feel free to join in. Inspiration for this video... Um, <laughs> I'm actually a huge gamer, so it was actually kind of hard to act like I didn't know. But I did have a guy that I was interested in that I had to teach a little bit about gaming. He absolutely hated it. He did not. He pretended for a while and then um, became a very big bone of contention very early on. Our relationship didn't last very long because of it. I don't actually count him as a boyfriend boyfriend because, like, we're talking like a week. And we became good friends after that, but we just realized we didn't have a lot in common um, but the inspiration is also me again, because I, I guess I'm more of the listener kind of in this because I do compartmentalize. My friends do not meet my family. My family does not meet my friends. My work coworkers do not meet my friends. My coworkers very seldomly become friends. Um, and it is because of fear. 
it's a fear that like if I quit this job because I and I didn't like these people, I don't want them necessarily following me to my next job because I tend to take jobs that require NDAs and things can get hairy. Um, I also like have different friend groups that serve different purposes. And if for whatever reason, um, because I've had a lot of loss in my life, um, one thing blows up or another thing blows up, at least I have another friend group I can run to. I'm not saying any of this is healthy. I'm definitely working on it in therapy, but it is definitely something that is a factor in my life that I have to deal with. And um not ashamed. I stand in my truth and it's something I'm working on. Um, so that was the inspiration for this. And the story arc for this character is having the listener become more, um, less needing someone to tell them what to do and more standing in their own. I think that is a story arc for this listener is learning how to stand, but learning how to be an adult and tie their own shoes rather than hoping someone's going to come along and tie their shoes for them. Um, because that day may never come. You never know. Anyways, uh, enough preaching about my own problems. <laughs> I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who's been buying stuff off my throne. It, like, so much has come in this week. Towels, um, some snack boxes. Thank you, Tor. Um, it it means the, a lot. Dr. Scroob, thank you so much for all of your support. The super thanks and the super chats that you guys leave on the videos. Um, it I, I can't say enough how much I appreciate you guys. And then lastly, we did our first, it was kind of a test, a uh, live chat stream on discord for Patreon members who are silver and above. I'm trying to think of more benefits to give those who are silver and above. Cause, um, the bronze mean you get spicy content. Um, and I've been posting more of that regularly, like three or four a week. Another one's dropping tonight too. Yay. Anyways, I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Bye.